Hello and welcome to this process of installing NA10 and Olama on an Apple GPU. That is, you can run this on Apple Silicon inside a Docker container. The interesting thing is NA10 will run fully in a Docker and it will run Olama in the Docker if you want. However, Olama does not address the Apple GPU, so you need to install that separately. So what I'm just doing first off is installing Docker, completely standard installation, creating um, an account, and there we go, we've got something Docker up and running there. Um, just follow kind of the next, next, next kind of steps. So once that's all up and running, we're then going to go over to NA10. There's a GitHub repository that holds the self-hosted AI start kit. So I'll pop the link in the description and you'll be able to go to this folder that's got all of the various builds. But the one we're most interested in is this self-hosted AI start kit because it's got most things already rolled and it's got instructions that you can follow. So it does make things nice and easy. What I would be, what I'll be doing here is cloning the repository. Very straightforward. Copy and paste that, and then I'm going to go into the self-hosted star AI starter kit folder as de described, and then I'm going to follow the steps to install the Docker container but do the one without Olama installed, without Olama baked into it. The reason for that is if, I mean, you can do that, but that will use Olama on your CPU. And in my experience on my M3 MacBook Pro, I find that the um, uh, using the CPU is probably twice as slow as if you're using the GPU. So to get the most out of the machine that you've probably got, if you've got a modern Mac, then this is the way that you need to do it. So I'll go into Docker Compose Up, copy that into the terminal, and, and I'm still in the self-hosted AI starter kit folder. And then again, that just runs through the process. It'll take a few minutes because it's going to be pulling um, some uh, information from the web. And yeah, I just kind of leave that to run. You can check on the progress by looking in the container. You can see here it's actually started building that container and started the container. So that took for me like five minutes or so. And now I can just go off and have a look at the local host on port 5678. So this is running on my machine. So it's got like a web server built in and port 5678 is where NA10 is running. So type in username and password you need to do that for the first time and what I'm also now going to do is download Olama so this is really important part of the process like I say and I can't emphasize this enough is to get Olama running locally on your max GPU you need to install this separately and once you've done that you can go and open up a new terminal. I'm going to leave this terminal running so I want NA and stay open. So open a new terminal window and then start addressing Alarma with the various commands. So I'm going to do a pull 54, which is Microsoft's new language model. With Alarma installed, I can start connecting NA10 and Alarma together. Now, this is a really important command here. The host.docker.internal um, port 11343. You need that to be able to configure the Alarma service. So if you grab that, as I'm doing here now, and if you go and um, have a look and create a new credential, you need to, the base URL needs to be copy and paste that into that field, the connection field. That will do a quick chest, test, and now I can actually address Alarma that's running on my Mac. And the only thing left to do is test it. So I open up the chat um, and I'm just gonna type in hello. And this is not going off to the internet. This is not doing anything really crazy. This is running Olama on my local Mac, accessed via NA10, and I can start leveraging its power.